in front of Calbuco Volcano. This is the Starship Vlog. I'm Buckfield. Reaching for the stars is perhaps humanity's oldest dream, as well as our oldest natural science. Its origins in the religious myths, beliefs, and practices from prehistory resonate down through our time. The continuing sense that the heavens influence human affairs lives on today in astrology and UFO cults, and evidences the strong emotional affinity we have for the idea that we are linked to the heavens. The sky fascinates us, and for many, the vision of deep space travel is compelling and inspiring like no other. While space exploration communities look forward to a future of traversing the stars, science fiction envisions the technologies we might one day use and the adventures we might have there. To create such capabilities in the real world will require revolutionary new science and technology, and the most immediate and challenging advances necessary for that are in fundamental physics. In addition to communities of space and science fiction, there are other groups pushing for transformative advances in physics. Physicists, physics program administrators, auditors, and blue ribbon government panels assigned to study the current state of research and plan future investment, especially in high energy physics particle accelerators. Since Einstein began the modern physics revolution, theoreticians, including Einstein himself, have been struggling to explain reality in terms that do more than calculate accurate predictions of experimental measurements. They seek greater understanding of the universe and our place in it. The unparalleled accuracy of modern physics predictions, on one hand, inspires our sense that there must be something very right about the theories, while the lack of explanations and plethora of, quote, interpretations leaves us with concerns that something's amiss. Responsibility to ensure scientists succeed and science progresses lies with management and administration. Why? Because they are in charge of investing billions of dollars, decades of people's lives, and considering asteroids and environmental collapse related to energy production, perhaps the entire fate of humanity. From the project management perspective, solving a tough, expensive problem that has resisted the finest minds and best instrumentation since 1905 calls for careful analysis of past efforts, current challenges, and making sure we are as clear and precise as possible about our goals. Obtaining absolute clarity of definitions is one of the core features of philosophy. Effective management needs such clarity to succeed in helping physicists create a transformative, deeper theory into which our current standard model of physics can be incorporated. The past century of efforts have been inadequate. We need a more sophisticated approach. We will analyze and develop a more sophisticated and capable approach by leveraging some unique advantages offered by visions of faster than light like Star Trek. Compelling visions are vital to the success of large-scale efforts because they align diverse efforts of many toward a common goal with unmatched efficiency. In our approach, we will attempt, as much as possible, to follow the golden rule, apply to ourselves and our hypotheses the rules we would apply to others and their hypotheses. This helps us develop a sense of the right direction to head, but it can also help us avoid repeating mistakes of the past. And that's why it's a best practice for success. With this knowledge, next time we will look at some initial ideas on how to scope a revolution in physics, the product of our project. See you then. Thanks for watching.